this is what I'm talking about today. Do you remember this thing? This is called the Sax Mute One. And I actually did a review of this. In fact, I did a whole thing about Sax Mutes a little while back. But today, I've, this sounds a bit silly really, but I've got this Sax Mute, but check out this over here. Yes, that's right, it's another Sax Mute in here. There's a story behind this. Right, so look, before I go into that, I'm Nigel, I run a thing called Sax School. We help thousands of saxophone learners all around the world to learn and improve their saxophone skills. And part of that process of helping saxophone players with lessons and things is I also like to check out gear. So last year, I was doing a piece about saxophone mutes. In fact, you can check out the article, the YouTube video that I put out about saxophone mutes, comparing them and finding out which one was best. And the one that I liked the best was actually this one, the Sax Mute 1. But there were some issues with the Sax Mute 1, and maybe I've got too much spare time on my hands, but I ended up trying to find a better way to hold it together, and I came up with this idea of some latches. So I found some latches online, I 3D printed some brackets, and anyway, you can watch the whole video where I modded it up here. Now, a funny thing happened when I put that video out of the mods on this. I got this email from a guy called Max. Turns out, Max lives in Russia, and he actually is the guy that makes these things. I thought that was really cool, because to be honest with you, I'd just done some research online and then went and bought these things. I bought this from sax.co.uk here in the UK. And um, Max reached out and said, hey, that's interesting what you're doing with the latches. Actually, we do something similar on our new models. Can I send you one? Sure. Right, so that's how come I end up in this situation where I've got a second one in my office. Now there's more to this story too because I'm kind of embarrassed to say that Max sent me this months ago, but I've been so busy I haven't literally had a spare second to open up this box. So that's what today's video is all about. I wanna open this box and have a look at the Sax Mute, the new version, and see how it works. Right, I haven't unwrapped it yet, but you can probably tell there's a bit of a difference here. I'll show you what I mean. Bigger, smaller. This is the alto version, and it looks like it's not white either. Well, I'll tell you one thing for sure. Max is very good at wrapping things. Okay, so this is the new model and it looks really fantastic. I love the coloring too. So here are Max's latches and actually, you know what? They look really, really neat. So you can see they've actually been riveted straight onto the body here and oh, I don't know what that is, but I like the way they're very neat on the body here. Look at that. Same on this side too. The real problem with the old model that I found was that the only way the two sides were attached was with a little elastic band on the top. And I just found when I was practicing that it would always fall apart. But with these clasps, it's much better. What makes the Sax Mute 1 work really well is all of this foam on the inside. So you can see proper, really deep foam. There's an integrated hook for your, your neck strap, for your saxophone, a bit fiddly to get on. But the system is really good because it means the saxophone is actually suspended onto the case. You've got your hand holes through here. And then there's a bracket inside the front here where you can actually attach it to a stand. Let's put it in action and see what it sounds like. Oh, this is cool too. It does come with some really good instructions. And actually it tells you how to fit it to the tall Hercules stand, which are the stands that I'm using over here anyway. Right, let's see how it works. Okay, so the front part of the Sax Mute 1, it clips onto a standard Hercules stand. It's a really simple system actually, and it is quite secure. It's a nice idea using it on the stand. You can actually use it just on a shoulder harness, but having it in the stand is actually great. And I think in a practice room, it makes a lot more sense. Uh, you just gotta get the height to the right level for you. I don't know, let's see if that's about right. Now I think the tricky part is getting the, the back part connected. Uh, I'll get the strap out here. Okie dokie. So, I mentioned that inside there is this little hook here. If you can see that there. And that's, that's for your neck strap. So this is the tricky part. You need to get that hook and you need to connect it onto your saxophone. There we go. So now it's connected in there 
and your saxophone comes out through the top of the case like this. So now we're just going to put the two halves together. That's actually pretty straightforward. So the saxophone goes into the stand and then you just clip the two halves together and look at this. The problem I was having before is it used to come apart all the time. So I'd be halfway through playing and then it'd like half would fall off. But now this is really, really secure. And actually, if you had the space, you could leave it set up like this on a stand in the corner of your music room so you could just walk up to it and play whenever you get a chance to. <laughs> You really just got to get the height right that's comfortable for you and then hands in and off you go. So final thoughts on the new sax mute one. I think it's great. I've not used the alto mute before and for me the right hand hole is a little bit high so I find myself just being a little bit uncomfortable with getting my arms in there. But you know it's really really sturdy and the main concern I had before was the fact that it wasn't holding together. Max, you have nailed that because with these clasps on here, it works perfectly fine. And, you know, I wouldn't need to go and build the thing that I did before. And I also like the color. I think the gold and silver just looks a bit more interesting than the big old white egg that uh, always looks a bit weird in my practice room. Now, the thing that's really cool about a mute anyway, why you might be thinking about using one of these, is it means that you can practice any time at all. Now, I'm really lucky because I actually have a music room in my garden. This studio is in my garden, and that's part of the reason why it's taken me so many months to get around to reviewing this, because I've spent the last six months building this thing. So it means that I can pretty much play any time of the day or night and not really disturb anybody. But for decades, I've always practiced inside my house, which means disturbing your family, your children, the dog, everybody. So a sax mute means that you can play without really annoying people and also means if you live in an apartment or something like that where you're just around lots of people, then you've got a lot more freedom. So I actually think it's brilliant and it does make the low notes like the low B flat a little bit more stuffy, but I think that's a small price to pay for being able to practice a lot more. Now, if you're looking at sax mutes, there are some alternatives to this. Quite a few of our sax school students use the e sax mute, which is a bit fancier. It's got some electronics in it, so you can play backing tracks and use headphones and things. Pretty clever, but it is very expensive. And for me, really, I wanted something that was a bit cheaper, a bit less expensive, so that it was just a tool I could have in my back pocket should I need it. Because if I'm honest with you, I don't really want to use a mute any more than I need to. But if I do need to practice and I'm worried about disturbing somebody, this is a really handy piece of kit to have. Hey, I hope that's been helpful to you. Big apologies, Max, for taking so long to make this video for you, but thanks so much for sending it over. And I really do love your, your new latches. And if you haven't seen the other videos, go check out my other video about sax mutes because it's an important topic that I think you should try and learn about before you make a decision uh, on which mute to buy. Hey, there's tons of other stuff here on my channel that'll help you to improve your saxophone skills or to understand a bit better about gear, making mouthpiece choices, all those sorts of things. If you really wanna dig in deep with making good progress in your saxophone though, then click the link down below and find out about Sax School. We have got thousands of learners in there, people of all standards from beginner right through to seriously advanced professional players, and we can help you really make great progress with your saxophone. So come and see what we're all about. Stick your toe in the water, try it out. We've got a 14-day trial running at the moment. Thanks very much for watching. Keep practicing hard. I'll catch you next time. <laughs>